Hey guys, and welcome back to the Baltimore Orioles franchise here on MLB The Show 17. Uh, we're coming off a uh, Game 1 victory against the Oakland A's in this three-game set. So we're just going to kind of continue along here, keep simming ahead through the month of May as we're sitting at 25 and 23. So we'll send this game here against the Oakland. We lose uh, 5 to 4. Looks like a day let it up, man. He has an 8.25 ERA. Not performing too well so far in the season is the pitching staff, that's for sure, even the bullpen included. We get the win 3 to 2 there. Galson picks up the victory. Uh, we have a three game set. Here gets Minnesota with a 9-4, 6-3, lose to 8-3. So we get two out of four there. Martinez, Montar, not too bad at the win. Bundy, ERA inflated. Like I said, our pitching staff not doing very well for sure. Um, I was hoping that would be improvement over last year, and it's definitely a not. So we take the first game against Toronto, lose the second game, see if our bullpen can hang on to it here, and it cannot. So uh, bullpen blows another one. So hopefully we can take this final game here in Toronto. Uh, and Rafael Montero looks like he's going to be done for one to two months. So that's not going to help out the pitching staff anymore. So we'll go to the minors. Uh, Hunter Hunter Harvey definitely not ready. Uh, Luis Castillo, not too bad. Um, maybe him, we'll see. It's either him or Luke Weaver, I think. Uh, I know Luke Weaver has the better statistics, but and definitely has some time in the majors. But I think we're going to go with Luis Castillo. He's a young pitcher. He's 25. Well, let's see what he's got. I mean, can't do any worse than what's going on so far up in the uh, bigs, that's for sure. So we'll bring Castillo. He has a very good arm. We acquired him last year from the red. So uh, let's see what we can got back in the investment. I think it was a J.J. Hardy trade, I believe. So hopefully he can perform well against the Red Sox. We lose the first game. And Luis Castillo, your first start is against the Boston Red Sox in Boston. As you see, we are one game back of the Blue Jays. So here we are in Boston, taking on the Red Sox, facing Rick Porcello, his 12 starts, and at 4-5, and five, with a 3.338 ERA, whip about 1.23. So here we go. Jason Worth just continuously to mash the ball, hitting 310, 12 home runs, and a 1-1 count here in the first. And he's going to rip this one up the middle, and he'll continue the uh, fantastic hitting. We just picked him up. Late in before spring training, and it's turned out to be uh, a great pickup. So here's Machado. See, so absolutely struggling against right handers, only hitting 211. And the pitch to Machado, and he's not struggling there. That one is crushed over the green monster. See you later. Two run home run by Manny Machado. And we take an early 2 0 lead, and that's good to get a nice lead for your young starter making his major league debut. Seventh home run for Machado. He is slow. Hopefully he can pick up the season even more. And here is Luis Castillo making his major league debut in Boston. said it's definitely a tough uh, start, but this should be a good test for him and see what he's got. And this is the lineup he's facing Bogart, Bradley Jr., Betts, Benantini, Rena Sandoval, Pedroia, Swihart, and Brock Holt. Definitely a uh, lineup that can match the ball, that's for sure. So here we go. Uh, one down here. Jackie Bradley Jr. up the pitch against Steele, and he's going to get him on the cutter. So there's two down here in the first inning, and that's his first strikeout as a major league uh, pitcher. So definitely have to keep that ball, that's for sure. So here comes Mookie Betts, uh, having a very good season so far with the 12 home runs over 300 average. Uh, and the 1-0 pitch to Betts. He's going to rip one up the middle, and that's going to be a base hit. So Boston trying to get a uh, two-out rally here against the young pitcher. Here in the first inning. So here comes Ben Intendi. Definitely a power hitter for sure. He only has nine home runs, but he can definitely crush the ball for sure. Here's a 1 0 count, and Ben Intendi's going to rip this one, and that's going to be in the wall in that kind of trouble area. Gentry's going to be up with it. Let's see if they send him. They're going to send him home plate. We have a plate at the plate, and he is safe. So the Red Sox get on the board 2 to 1. So here's Handler Ramirez with a chance of the man in scoring position. He's going to hit one up the middle, and that's going to get through just barely by scope. Ben Intendi will score. So that 2 0 lead is erased right away as the Red Sox pick up two runs here in the first inning. So now we head to the second. Brock Holt up, and he's going to hit this one. And it's going to be a ground at the end of the inning. So luckily, Castillo comes back very nicely with a 1 2 3 inning in the second inning, not allowing anything else. So now we head to the fourth, still 2 2. Here comes Ben Intendi once again. And Ben Intendi is going to dribble this one. Castillo up with it, and he is going to be safe. 
Late throw. So let's see how Castillo deals with this. Ramirez up. Ramirez is going to drill this one, but Dyson uses that speed to get over to it, and he will get the out. So helping out his young pitcher with the defense. So now two down. Pedroia up. He's a tough hitter to face. He's going to rip one, and that's going to be a base hit into right field. Benintendi going up to second. And Pedroia over to first. So here comes Swihart with the pitch. Two down. And he's going to dribble this one. Castillo looks like he'll get out of this scoop with the out. So he gets out of the jam as the young pitcher. And will remain the 2-2 game going into the fifth inning. So here we're in the fifth. 0-2 uh, count to Yungarva Salarte with no down the pitch. And he's going to rip this one. And that's going to fall down for a base hit just in front of Bradley Jr. So the Orioles get one guy on so far here in the fifth inning with no down. Definitely need to get some more run support for your young pitcher here. So here's Craig Gentry. Still hitting obviously very well so far over 300. Gentry's going to rip this one. We'll look it down, and it will. Just a little bloop base hit. So we got two on here. Here in the fifth inning. So here comes Gerard Dyson. Still no down. Have a chance here. First pitch to Dyson. He's going to rip this one. This one will get to the wall. So Solarte has scored. Gentry has definitely tons of speed. He's on his way to his home. Here's a throw, and that's going to not even be close. So we get back on the board here with two more runs, and we'll take a 4-2 to two lead here in the fifth inning. So nice job by Dyson. So here comes Worth. Still have a chance to get more on the board. And Worth is going to drill this one. That's going to be the right field we're sending Dyson, and he is going to be thrown out at home plate. So a great throw there to get the speedy Dyson. And there's still only one down, though, in this inning. So we still have a chance, 4-2 to two here. Jonathan Scope up the pitch, and Scope is going to hit this one. And that's actually going to fall in in front of Bradley Jr. Had to wait for it so nobody could really advance, only go to base-to-base to base there. So we get bases loaded. Here's Mark Trumbo up. Bases loaded to have a chance to kind of put this game on ice, really, with a big-time run. And he's going to rip this one right to Sandoval, 5-4-3. Inning killer, double play, and we can't get anything out of it. So take the 4-2 to two lead to the bottom of the fifth. And Betts is going to drill this one up the middle. And that will be first and second here. So the Boston Red Sox trying to get back into it. Here comes Ben Benintendi. Two down, the pitch. And Castillo's going to get him looking on the changeup. And the Red Sox will go down. So that will be it for Brasella. Colmenter Col comes in, his 13th appearance. ERA almost at 9, not what you want if you're the Red Sox. So here comes Solarte. He has a 1 for 2 so far in this game. The pitch to Solarte, and he's going to rip this one up the middle. That's his second hit. So uh, trying to start something here in the sixth inning. See if we can pile on more, more runs to help out the young pitcher. So here is Craig Gentry. Gentry's going to hit this one. And Brock Cole cannot come down with it. That's going to get through him. So Larte is going to be on his way to home. He should score easily. Gentry is going to stay in at second base. So now we take a 5-2 lead. Holt making the great throw earlier to get Dyson. Can't make that one. So we have a 5-2 lead here in the sixth. So here is Dyson. Came up with a huge hit earlier with two runs. Now with two down. He's going to rip this one up the middle. So that will easily score Gentry. And now we take a 6-2 lead. Dyson coming through huge. In this game with three RBI, nice job there. So now 6-2 to two lead in the seventh. Castillo still pitching. Two down, facing Bradley Jr. over to Scoop. And he will get through seven. Good job by Luis Castillo having a great debut here for the Orioles. So Brian Morris comes in for Boston. 5.85 ERA, another uh, high ERA for a bullpen guy. So here's Solarte, two for three. Having a great season so far, and Solarte is going to hit this one, and that's going to get through Pedroia. So his third hit on the game for Solarte. Three for four, looking pretty good. And here's Craig Gentry, who has two hits of his, uh, of his own so far in this game. And he will rip this one up the middle, so he has three hits. So Solarte and Gentry, six for eight in this game combined. Looking uh, fantastic there at the bottom of the order. And here comes Gerard Dyson. Double, single, has those three RBIs. Can he come up? huge again so this one's going to be a little dribble to Pedroia might be tough to turn two they'll get Gentry but they won't and actually they will not he is safe at second wow so that's pretty crazy so here comes Jason Worth bases loaded 
And will this be enough to get Solarte in? And they are not going to send him. So can't get anything there. Do not want to get out of this with no runs. So here's Machado. Base is loaded. Two down. Can he come through? 2-2 two, two count. And that's going to be in the dirt. So here we go. 3-2 count. Not much you can do. It'll give the runners on first and second a chance to uh, get a head start there. So here we go. 3-2 pitch to Machado. Base is loaded. And the pitch. And he leaves it up. And Manny Machado absolutely crushes it. Grand slam. And that might just about do it for the Boston Red Sox in this game. Manny Machado crushing it. His eighth of the year. There you go. We take a 10-2 lead now. So Jonathan Scope up. Can he continue this inning? And Jonathan Scope will. He'll rip this one. Fastball kept up high. And Scope is going to take this one to the monster. And see you later. So back-to-back -back home runs for this team. We take 11-2 lead now. Scope's 12th of the year. And now we'll just bring in Brad Brock to uh, kind of just close this game out. 11-3 lead here, here in the ninth. And the pitch, and that's going to be 4-6-3. to six to three. Double play to end this game. So great job by Luis Castillo. You know, he had that trouble in the first. They got the two runs right back. And then he comes back and pitches six scoreless innings to go the rest of the way, going seven innings combined. And wow, uh, he had some trouble on the way, but good job. And then the offense coming up huge there. The Machado Grand Slam really putting the game out of reach. Six to two lead even in Boston it is not out of reach, but when you get it up to ten to two and then scoop with the homer after him, that game is over. So we get the victory in Boston. Eleven to three Machado with two home runs. Hopefully he can get going here with that game. So we still have one game left with Boston, and then we'll uh, go to uh, go back home and get face Cleveland and New York. So that is it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.